tis the season to drink eggnog from a chalice, am I right? Because eggnog is the nectar of the gods. Is there hair in it? Oh. And I will not listen to any naysayers. <laughs> dreary day outside but it is finally December so that means it's time to get festive so for Thanksgiving I made a couple hair pieces literally in 10 minutes the morning before we went to our family's house and a lot of people were asking if I recorded the process or if there's gonna be a video about how to make these so I decided to do a holiday version and a winter version I'm just gonna punctuate the end of every sentence with a sip of eggnog so for this, I did two different hair piece sets and then I made a bow for my beret. I'm gonna show you how. And if you like watching people struggle with hot glue strings, you're in luck. So the first set that I made are these babies. Very wintry and very foresty. I wanted to go festive but not overly Christmassy, so I went this route. So I started out with these fake plants from Michael's and then these hair combs. And I started off by clipping off all the little bits and pieces that I wanted, including some pine cones and the berries. I then laid them out and generally planned how I wanted these to look. And then I hot glue gun them. I wanted to make sure I did a couple layers of leaves so that it had a bit of volume to it. And then took the berries off their stems just so I knew it would be easier to glue them all individually. And oh god, the glue gun strings. No! God, please, no! 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 So then I glued on the little berries. And repeated the process for the other one. And voila! So I really like how these came out. They're a little unruly, but I kind of like that. I kind of like that I <laughs> look like I just walked out of a forest. So for the second pair, I went with a more Christmassy vibe. I couldn't find any fake holly plants at Michael's, which I was a little bit surprised. So I did what I could. So again, I started out with these hair combs and a bit of ribbon, and then this plant from Michael's, including this absolute gem. Oh shit, what is that? Again, I took the little leaves off of the plant so I can glue them on individually. And then I ended up using the berries from a different plant that I got at Michael's, just cause I thought these were a little bit prettier. So I glued on the leaves in a few different layers and then the berries went in their place. And then I decided to make a little bow out of the ribbon. I'm not sure if there's a better way to do this, but this is just how I did it. No! And then glued on the bow and pretty much done. For the third little accessory, I made a bow for my beret, and it's just attached with a safety pin so I can take it off. Whenever I got the idea to put a bow on my beret from a clothes horse on Instagram, and if you don't follow her, you definitely should, but she made a post about having bows on her beret, so now you have this. For this, I started off with a beret that I already owned and some ribbon I had lying around along with a mini wreath and mini presents from Michaels. So again, I tried to make a little bow and glue it together. I'm not sure if there's an easier way to do this, but that's what I did. Nobody knows but me. 
And then glued on the little wreath. Nobody knows. And then decided where the presents were going to go before I glued those on as well. To attach it, I used this big ol' safety pin and created a bit of a glue bed on the back of the bow and then rested the safety pin upwards so that it dried like that and it worked out pretty well. This might not be as graceful as the other ones. Oh no! I feel like Peter Pan. <laughs> So this one, I think, looks okay from certain angles, but I think I used too rigid of a ribbon. It's basically like kind of like a papery ribbon, which makes sense because it was just what I had lying around the house, and I think it came from packaging of some sort. I'm the kind of person that doesn't throw away packaging supplies if I like them. So, <laughs> so in the future, I would probably use a more fabric-y ribbon for this. But I do like the way that the little presents and the wreath came out. So that is it. These are very, very simple little projects. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and that if you want to try these, definitely tag me and let me know how they came out because I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> Happy December. Happy holiday winter time. It is the time of year where you just get in your PJs, sit in front of the fire and drink some eggnog right? But anyways, I love you guys whether you're new or old to this channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Welcome to another episode of It's Rainy Out, so Rachel's house is a pit of darkness. A shirt. The shirt and this hairstyle just makes me, makes me look like a rich housewife. Drinking eggnog in the corner and secretly plotting the demise of all my house guests. Hi, little nugget. What are you doing? Hello. Go, King. Go. Oh, that was a nice little kiss. It was very tender. Hi there. My eggnog. I'm just a classy eggnog drinking bitch. Pardon my French, I'm just passionate. <laughs> a couple different. <laughs> so, the first set that I made is this very wintry looking little pear. Wow. Uh.